Hello wonderful interpreters, thank you again for tuning in. This is going to be a short video, but today I have a very special guest. His name is Luis Alonso, he's an interpreter from the Tri-Cities area. And I want you to know that he's got some shocking information about what Wolf C Local 1671 is done to him when it comes to his identity. And so before I explain anything to you, I'm going to let him go ahead and explain what's been happening to him. So he tells you and you don't have to go through this. Uh, hello, Luis. How are you doing today? Hey, good morning. I'm doing good. And you, what about yourself? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. You know, uh, this is what I love to do. In the meantime, we're having an election, as you know, and um, I'm happy that you decided to join us and to share your testimony about some important things that you want to uh, you want to share with us today. So before we start, Lewis, and um, and this is important for, for people for people to know and understand. Have you been in any way threatened or forced? to make this video with us. Oh, not at all, no. Um, did we offer any favors, benefits, or money in exchange for you to make this video with us today? No, but I, money is always good, so I wish, but no. So this is important because, you know, Luis wanted to do uh, this out of his own volition. So, Luis, let me start by asking you this. Why do you want to make this video? Um, I just, uh, it calls my attention to see how some groups or uh, organization they can use uh, for their own, use you for their own benefit. Uh, which are um, it would be good for you uh, for you to receive an, an invitation or uh, at least to let you know you know we're gonna use your face we know we're gonna use your name and um, are you okay with it you know at least ask but um, other than I saw my face in one um, um, announcement that they are doing and and it, it, it they are doing that not only probably with me but with a lot of them interpreters as well and if they capable to do these things I wonder what else can they, they can do uh, okay yeah. okay no that's fair that's fair so what you're saying is that you saw your face without your permission uh, in one of their announcements. That's correct, yes. I went to one of your meetings for the first time and uh, and um, when I saw that, it caught my attention. I said, what What? what am I doing over there when I never uh, sent any picture to them or, you know. So let's share uh, this image so people are aware of what's going on. What you see here, guys, is one email that Wolfsey sent on uh, March 28th this year, telling people to vote um, because elections would start on March 30th at 9 a.m. And if you see right here, this is the petition that they got in trouble for because uh, the agency holding the elections, Burke, uh, determined they were deceptive, making interpreters sign this petition for purposes for purposes that were not related to the election, okay? And so when you click on this petition right here, uh, this is what people see, okay? And right here, Luis saw his face. This is him. Is this you, Luis? That's correct. That's me. Very. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Uh, did you give Wolfsey permission to use your image to promote their petition? Yes or no? Not at all, no. Not at all? Okay. No. I also see here that on the list, number 23, it says Luis Alonso Sanchez. So that's your name on the petition and uh, it looks like they are implying that because your name is there and your image, you support them. Now, let me ask you this. Are you a member of Wolfsey? I never signed any agreement uh, to become a member of Wolfsey. 
yeah yeah no that that's uh that's very bad now guys this is a picture this is the picture that you see there on the petition um actually on a bigger size sample so you could appreciate that this is him and in comparison look at him right here okay we're not making this up and look at the picture on the petition of Luis. So you see clear as day, uh, Luis is claiming right here that Wolfsey did not ask permission to use his likeness, his image for this purpose. And so, um, you know, I wanna thank you for sharing this because many interpreters uh, during the last uh, couple of elections, they were telling us, we never signed this petition, but for some reason, uh, you could say fear, you know, uh, concerns about intimidation, manipulation, and retaliation from Wolfsey, even from interpreting works, according to some interpreters, they didn't want to come forward. But as you see right here, Lewis decided, you know, this is enough, this is not right. You don't have to fear intimidation or legal ramifications from anyone. It is illegal to retaliate uh, when you come out forward uh, exposing these things. And this is pretty much, you know, I, I have no reason to doubt Lewis's story right here. I'm gonna always believe the worker. And if this is happening the way Lewis is saying, using somebody's likeness, image, and name without their permission. So now, Lewis, before we wrap it up, and thank you for sharing your testimony here, what do you wanna tell interpreters concerning their image being used? Yeah, um, they break in the privacy, of course. Um, in that picture, I don't know where that, I think it was taken from my computer, maybe. Uh, I tried to look nice when I, if I'm gonna expose <laughs> my face to the public or social media. Oh and no, you look very it. nice. I, li I like your whole setup right here. You, you know how to set up a webcam. I gotta give you that. So thank you for that. Go ahead, go ahead. In the past, I never heard any, any about any union or representation for interpreters in 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 this field so uh, in the past but when you guys appear that's when everything started up like oh we, i didn't know that we had a, a a union in this letter they're talking about a union with interpreters united means interpreters run the union through democratic elections and votes <laughs> what, I, I, what? never heard about him before. I never I never saw any democratic election. I never heard about it, any votes. For example, we used to we used to get paid for mileage and that was took off. And, and especially I, you didn't hear any democratic elections uh, for LNI interpreters, that's for sure. So yeah, things have changed a lot. No mileage, no direct billing for independent interpreters. So now that now that you mentioned that, you know, that you mentioned that, you're talking about, especially in your area, right? You're talking about a lot of uh, work on the fields. And you're talking about, you know, maybe construction work, people that work, you know, picking, picking fruit and all that. You need mileage as an interpreter to help with this section of workers, right? How important is mileage for you uh, to be able to go and drive far distances to help some patients? And and with that, we're gonna close. How important is mileage for you? Mileage, um, of course, helps a lot because uh, it is an extra <clears throat> money that you use for gas. You took extra money that you use to, you know, to have a maintaining uh, a car in good condition. And yeah. um, not having that income, extra income with you, is also affect your pocket. I mean, um, and I don't know why they took it away. Until this day, I don't have any explanation from nobody why they took it away. So, yeah, so, you know, Luis, and I thank you so much for doing this. And I know you have to, you have to go to work pretty soon. But, you know, uh, when it comes to the role of an interpreter, right? Um, that's something that you were you were talking to me about. You were telling me before we close this interview. Do you want to share that piece with interpreters about what what you want to uh, say to interpreters about what we do? Go ahead, please. Yeah, you know, as an interpreter, you work into the community. I think the value of an interpreter is is, is more than money. You know, and more than race, uh, I mean, more than a, a good salary. So um, 
I think we should be feel that we are really appreciate what the work we do in our community, in the community that we, where we live in, the community where, where we work, uh, that we share with people in churches. And I mean, we, we know each other in the stores and, um, and basically in Washington state, we, we know that we have a lot of field workers, um, uh, construction workers, warehouse workers, and um, and you are here. I mean, um, you're helping us. You're helping the whole state grow. Um, so yeah, and the things it can, you know, it's really hard when you when they use you when they use you without asking your permission. They take away the mileage. They put your picture. They put your name on it. But then, you know, they just. I mean, you feel like you're being used. And I think that should policy should be stopped doing that. Uh, okay. That's why I appreciate that one that that you let me talk today about oh, these little details that affect our, um, I mean, career as an interpreter. I hope uh, okay. everyone is aware of all those little things and come up uh, with, I mean, express yourself because if you stay quiet behind a curtain, you know, nothing's going to happen. Thank you, Juan, well, for doing whatever you're doing too, and your people. Of course. And, and um, I hope uh, everything will be better and best for our interpreters here in, the, in, our, in Tri Cities, in all Washington State. Thank you so much, Luis, for your kind words towards our work. And yes, you know, um, you mentioned something very important, and is that that is that um, interpreters need to come forward. Uh, you need to come and, and tell your story. If this is happening to you, if you believe that Wolf is using your likeness, your image, without your permission, um, this is something that needs to be exposed and we cannot expose it for you. You have to come forward and tell us your story. We'll show proof and then we'll guide you through the right people. So you submit your complaints. We'll, we'll do a complaint uh, on behalf of you and we'll let people, the right people know so they, they uh, so Wolfsey would be held accountable. So thank you Alonso once again for, for this interview, for sure. taking time out of your busy day before going to work to do this with me. Um, may God bless your family and hopefully, you know, even though it's hard to get work sometimes under this scheduling system, uh, especially for you, some interpreters in your area, um, I wish I wish that, um, you know, maybe we'll, when, we'll, we'll, when we win the election, Maybe when we win the election, we'll, we'll actually make things better, hopefully. And so thank you. God bless. Have a good rest of your day. And uh, we'll be in touch soon. All right. Good luck, Juan. Take care.